Declan McManus switches play now to Michael Doyle. Can he get the delivery? Opts instead to go back to midfield and to Gary Miller. Oh, great ball, finds Conor Salmon. The shot, and that's a terrific block by Michael Dunlop. Salmon holds off two, finds Gary Miller. Now Doyle. Doyle flights it in, but fortunately it doesn't get past uh, the first man, Dave Ferguson. Salmon now to Morgano Gomez, who bursts through. Taken to ground, the loose ball, McManus and Falkirk take the lead. Nine minutes on the clock, Declan McManus, first man to the loose ball. Great work by Morgano Gomez, bursting through the middle of the, the Peterhead defence. And then Declan McManus, well, they say a good striker, is in the right place at the right time. Launched downfield to Salmon, and does well to hold off not just one, but three challenges. Still has it. Back to Miller. Connolly tries the, the early diagonal. Right idea. Poor clearance though. Doyle for the Bairns. Waits on support. Miller arrives through the lines to Salmon. Loose ball to McManus. Goes past Dunlop. Wide to Telfer. Telfer flights it in. And then the loose ball to Salmon. And a great block from Falkirk's ex-academy graduate Cameron Eady. Meanwhile, McAllister breaks clear at the opposite end. Chance to equalise. Oh, great legs there from uh, Gary Miller. Well, good shot and good save by Robbie Much. Telfer now finds Gomez. Ben Armour in close attendance, but well worked by the Bairns. Wide to Doyle. Doyle hits the byline, but good block again by Scott Brown. Little game ahead tennis until Miller Sends it back into midfield. Salmon wins the header. McManus takes it down and then much better from the Bairns as they get the ball down and switch play. Doyle bursts forward. Into Connolly. Chance to shoot. And it's number two. Cool as you like from Declan McManus. The striker gets his brace. You have to say, terrific pass in field from Michael Doyle and a great little layoff by Charlie Telfer. Great from everybody, good good pass even from the beginning for the, the ball out to Mikey Doyle. As you say, the little layoff to Declan McManus. And as cool as you like, it's coming like buses for Decla for decade. He gets one goal and then another one, what, another 15 minutes later, 2-0 the Bairns. With the outswinger, right footed, comes in, watched by Dernan, gets something on it but falls to armour. Back in, Salmon manages to deflect it out the box. Scott Brown picks up the loose ball. Falkirk tried to put a couple of men out, but uh, Aidan Connolly, the first man forward, having to go from one side of the pitch to the other, followed by Telfer. Falkirk really need to push out here, but they've chosen to stay deep. Good knockdown. And then an own goal. Michael Doyle, uh, Michael Dunlop, sorry, with the knockdown. Falkirk, perhaps, you have to say, architect of their own downfall. Choosing to stay much, much deeper than they should have done. The chance was there when both Aidan Connolly and Charlie Telfer were up at halfway, gesturing for their teammates to come up and join them. Cross comes in again. Misses everyone and then just inches past the far post. Declan McManus just misses connecting. Pressure applied by Leach. Good ball over the top though to Telfer. Telfer flights in but there must be a penalty and there's absolutely stupid foul from David Ferguson. Aidan Connolly did everything right and then David Ferguson simply bundled the Falkirk man to the ground and you just wonder if this will be a subsequent red card as well. Yep, and it is. The way Waits for referee's whistle. Up he steps. And does it! 3-1 Falkirk. Wonderfully taken by Declan McManus. Keeper went to his right. And I think Dickie just decided I'll just slam it right down the middle. 3-1 Falkirk. Well, one more goal for the Bairns would kill it off. And it looks like... They are trying to get it as Dixon goes to the byline. Good cutback and a great interception by Jamie Stevenson. Falkirk take possession. Telfer 
find Salmon, but the return ball picked off. Salmon, no joy trying to find Aidan Connolly on the other side either. Telford takes possession, though. Doyle, unmarked, all the time in the world, gets to the byline. The cutback's there to McManus. Just bobbles up right in front of the Falkirk man. 